Hey guys, so I recently came across some videos on TikTok where people are cleaning the grout in between their tiles. So I'm at my suegra's house right now and I thought she could really use a good clean of her grout in her kitchen. So I tested it out first in this small little piece. I did use toilet bowl cleaner and I let it rest for about five minutes, but I think you're supposed to let it rest for longer, but whatever. And you can see all the dirt coming up to the surface of um, the toilet bowl cleaner. And then I grabbed this small uh, Spider-Man toothbrush and I just brushed away and look at all that dirt that's coming up. And keep in mind, this is a really small toothbrush, so I'm not scrubbing hard at all. And it's super easy to do. And y'all, look at this when I wipe it off. It literally looks brand new. It looks so good. So you guys, let me know if you guys want part two. I'm super excited to do the rest. Twenty years of chain smoking. Guys, this is what happens if you never clean your walls and you're a super heavy smoker. So basically we got a call from the owner of this property saying that they have a new tenant moving in and they need it cleaned before they get in there. So I start off in the bathroom because I'm always on bathroom duty and just look how satisfying that is. This job was seriously one of the most enjoyable jobs I've ever done just because of how satisfying it was. So basically what we're doing is we're applying our strongest chemical plus using the steam machine to help activate it. And then I'm using things like scour brushes and rags to help clean up all that dirt and years of smog that was left on the walls. Upon first glance, I really wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get off all those layers of smoke, but that steam machine really came in clutch for us and helped us out a bunch. Plus, it was super fun to use. What was really cool about this job was that we actually got to meet the person moving into the property. And he had seen what it looked like before and he was super worried about moving in. As he should be, I mean, you guys saw how bad those walls were. And so when we had finished, he was just absolutely blown away, which never gets old. I love those before and after reactions. So here's me working in the kitchen. Basically, I just started from top to bottom and steamed all the walls and cabinets. It basically just drips down to the next level and it makes it super satisfying to wipe up. I was just super happy that I was coming off the walls in the first place. Sometimes these jobs can just take so long because the dirt and grime just doesn't want to come off. And so the final step of this project was applying this odor sealant called Kills. Basically, I will just kill off any of the remaining odor from the last 20 years of smog building up. And this is the final walkthrough. It's nothing spectacular since they're still remodeling it, but I mean, look at that kitchen, it's so much better than before. And so yeah, these are the last two bedrooms that we had done as well. But also friends, don't forget, please never do. If you like those laundry stripping videos, um, you're gonna need to see this one because I did my couch cushions. It's disgusting. I got my couch used from somebody who got it used, from somebody who got it used, from somebody who got it used from Goodwill. So I have no, I have no idea how many owners this couch has had. Um, looks like that. I went ahead and put them all in and it instantly, it started to kind of smell in the bathroom, which I was like kind of psyched out about. Turn the fan on, that's af that's almost immediately after. That's an hour. Yeah, it, it was starting to get real dark. That's two hours in. Ew, really, ew. Ew, okay, but forbidden chocolate milk. Uh, yeah, that was the bottom. That was, I don't know what was in there. There was a bunch of hair and there was so much dirt. And then watch this. That was all at the bottom when I drained it. There was hair and then, hold on, wait for it. Look at the fucking drain. So it's almost midnight and my shower drain was really clogged. This isn't drugs, I swear, that's baking soda. And I read online that if you fill your drain with a cup of baking soda and then a cup of vinegar, it should dissolve any hair and stuff that's in it. But it's so clogged, it won't even go down the drain. <laughs> I've probably got like a quarter cup down there and it just won't go down. Oh well, it said to wait a few minutes and then put vinegar down it, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, well I hope this doesn't explode. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more. It does that every time. Wait, 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 I just heard it. Oh shit, I just heard it start to drain. Okay, it smells awful, but it worked, so. So I decided to wash my mom's brushes, which I know she has never washed. She's had this one for probably over four years, never been washed. So what I do is I get soap, water, and vinegar. You're supposed to add lime juice, but I don't have lime, so I mean, it's all good.
And you can see here, as soon as I put the brush in, oh my goodness, so much makeup just came out. It was so satisfying. Here are her other two brushes. That's the only brushes she uses. She's a simple woman. Ooh. So that was after about an hour. I just let it sit. Here I am rinsing the brushes. It was so satisfying. Here's her blush brush. After I showed her the brushes, she was like, I didn't even remember what color they were. This is the first time I washed the brush. And as you can see, it was still disgusting. So I went through one more time. And I actually had to go through another time. And if you want to see that one, there'll be another video.